As school systems across the area assess the road conditions, parents and children are winding down from a snow day. Horace Holmes is live in Fairfax with how families are spending the time together waiting for the news. Horace? <laughs> the news about tomorrow, you can see how the snow plow drivers spent their day. You can see this big mound of snow here that they moved off from the side of the roads. They've done a really good job. This was moved off here to the side, but you can see the roads here behind me in Fairfax looking very good, clear at this hour. It was a snowstorm that came down hard, but shoveled off quick and easy. It's a lot of fun to come out and play in the snow, make a few extra dollars. 31 miles riding a plow today, and this man was done in time for lunch. For others who had to shovel the old-fashioned way, it was a chance to get things cleared out to get ready to head back to work tomorrow. Just trying to get that all cleaned out. Okay. So she can get out without falling, and I can get out without <laughs> falling. The snowfall fell short of what many expected here in Fairfax and Loudoun counties. And for school kids, fun today, but tomorrow? No school. And this kindergarten teacher is already preparing her lesson plans for tomorrow. It was nice to have the nice long weekend, that four-day weekend. Uh -huh. But everything's fine to go back. Absolutely. All right, uh, there's no decision that's been made uh, here in Fairfax about schools tomorrow, when they will open, if they will open. The roads shouldn't be a problem. The roads are looking very good out here. The snow is off. The issue will be, as Doug mentioned, the freeze overnight. Anything that's wet out there could ice up, so stay tuned. We'll let you know what happens as far as schools in Fairfax and Loudoun counties and the rest of the school systems around our area. Reporting live in Fairfax, Horace Holmes, ABC 7 News. Thank you, Horace. An update from VDOT on road conditions tonight. All primary roads have been cleared and crews made at least one pass on secondary roads, but crews are clearing only an eight to 10 foot wide path in neighborhoods and they will not clear to bare pavement. Virginia residents are advised to park off the street or on the odd numbered side of the street to allow trucks room to do their work. The wintry weather is blamed for two deadly crashes in Virginia, including one in our area, last night near the intersection of Route 50 and Route 15 in Aldi. The other was in Wife County. Virginia State Police say they responded to more than 1,000 crashes between 4 yesterday afternoon and noon today. A driver died after losing control and colliding with a plow truck. This was the scene captured by News Chopper 7 shortly before, or rather after 9 o'clock this morning. Investigators say the driver was going too fast on Route 97 near the Montgomery County, Howard County line. The victim was a 26-year-old man from Timonium. No one else was hurt. A second deadly crash is also reported in Maryland, and this one happened last night on the Thomas Johnson Bridge in Calvert County. That part of southern Maryland was especially hard hit by the storm. Diane Cho continues our team coverage live from Prince Frederick. Diane? Well, today was all about cleanup here in Calvert County, and crews were busy trying to push all of this snow that was in the parking lot off to the side here so that it's out of the way so that drivers could still get in and out of the shopping center. After the snowfall ended, Kevin McCarthy didn't have much left to shovel after his neighbors all pitched in to help. One had a plow come by, and the other one, uh, as you just saw, as a snowblower. It hasn't been actually too bad. The early on it was very nice because the snow was light. For some, it was all smiles playing in the snow. But for this Montgomery County drama teacher, the time off from school makes her a little nervous. It's beautiful to look at, but I think every teacher is saying, oh my God, we'll get out in August at this rate. <laughs> Calvert County and Charles County saw anywhere between five and seven inches of snow on the ground today. This was perfect. Perfect amount. I can get out, not stuck in the house, still get to the gym. <laughs> but in neighboring St. Mary's County, one area had as much as nine inches, the highest amount in the state. Plows were busy clearing the roadways and parking lots as some took advantage of the disruptions it caused for some workers who were told to just stay home. The roads, even the back roads, side roads, they were all clear. So I was really impressed. But for those who had to be behind the wheel, they made sure they were prepared. I got my shovel in the truck. Bracing for a long day ahead in the plumbing business where he says they've been flooded with calls because of the freezing temperatures. It's been a challenge uh, the last few days. 
And in the last hour or so, we've noticed some slick spots on the pavement out here. So if you are heading out tonight, you'll want to use extra caution on the roads. In Calvert County, Diane Show, ABC 7 News. Thank you, Diane. The district's snow emergency declaration ended at 2 o'clock this afternoon. In the seven hours it was in effect, 132 vehicles were ticketed and towed for parking along emergency routes. To get their cars back, drivers must pay a $250 fine, a $100 towing fee, and a $20 impound fee. The cost of all that illegal parking, nearly $49,000. Our Stormwatch weather coverage continues right now online. You can track school closings and the forecast for tomorrow on our website, on our Facebook and Twitter accounts, or by using the Stormwatch weather app for your smartphone.